A new Irish paramilitary group has been founded with the aim of targeting Crown Forces, a dire warning which threatens to disrupt the long fought for peace in Northern Ireland. The new dissident Republican group identified themselves as the IRM, the Irish Republican Movement, and issued their N. Emmys with a death sentence. In a statement issued today the group said they would target Crown forces and execute drug dealers in nationalist neighborhoods. The group also released a photo showing five members, complete with camouflage jackets, balaclavas, guns, bullets and what appears to be EA pipe bomb. In a statement seen by Irish News, the group said drug dealers or burglars in nationalists' communities in the north should be under no illusion, they would be dealt with. And they warned they would actively target Crown forces, referring to British soldiers in Northern Ireland, as well as police service of Northern Ireland officers tasked with policing Republican commemorative events. The group are believed to be based in Belfast and West Tyrone and formed following a split within Oglay Naharan, another paramilitary group who recently declared a ceasefire. The new group's foundation has been slated by North Belfast MSL and SDLP Deputy Leader Nicola Mallon. She said, paramilitaries are not interested in providing solutions to the growing drug problems in our community. They're only interested in exploiting this issue to further their own agenda. Hooded vigilantes are as much a scourge on our society as drug dealers. The group has also been mocked online for the low-budget nature of their setup and the matching lilac gloves worn by each of the five members I. And the photo. One Twitter user said, so much to laugh at here. And I really think laughter is the appropriate response. The grimy box room in their ma's house. The flag which is clearly just out of the packet. The broken trestle table. That cheeky jeans and camouflage ensemble. And most of all, those lilac gloves.